What's up guys? This is the Brosman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian states and following the defeat of the Mughal Empire the campaign has now reached a <laughs> reached a full gallop and in this one episode we will fight a series of battles which will see the United States destroyed one mere turn after being um, <laughs> being declared an independent state because we are attacking sieging Albany, Philadelphia, Annapolis, Williamsburg and Charleston. So let's begin, first of all, with probably the most quote-unquote difficult battle of the bunch here at Albany. No artillery, basic infantry, significant component being irregulars. Sorry, Benedict Hardy, you're going down. But yes, that's part of the reason why I wanted to lean so heavily on pressuring the Mughals in India instead, so that we wouldn't have, well... There was not much point in dragging out that conflict by pushing through the Americas prior to defeating the Indians at home. Because if I wanted to fight, well, as you guys know, I fought lots of significant battles against the Indians in India. So I may as well do it over there rather than in the, in the Americas as well. I may as well build up my strength, hold the line and be ready to exploit any gaps. So drop my guns behind the line, drop my howitzers in as well. form a absolutely brutal front line. I want to send my skirmishers up the left flank. Drop some militia on the right. Put the bulk of my cavalry up on the left, up on the hill. To be honest, I might even put my skirmishers right up far or further up ahead because they have little to no cavalry. But to be honest, just let things fall the way they do. So let's advance my line up into the town. Skirmishes advance. Cavalry support. Devastating quickline that's all focusing on one particular unit, so I may as well focus fire their actual infantry units. I mean, fundamentally, actually, we might be teeing up for... Actually, I probably want to run infantry up to that position there, because we are aware that actually we've got a significant portion of the battlefield is not actually traversable to my troops. Yeah, my cavalry will be okay. I think I might have been a bit keen in trying to run my infantry up quite that far. Skirmishers would be able to provide a reasonable amount of fire. Although the, the positioning isn't quite so good, there's this high ground here. Quick climb coming in. That's really chewed up the Minutemen. There we go. My engineers can provide some fire on the lower ground. <laughs> Drop new targets for all my guns. Yes. These colonials charging into the open ground. I might just get all my field artillery to focus on the general's bodyguard. Actually, let's get you to pivot. I can start feeding these chaps into the combat. I mean, I could probably just smash into them with my cavalry. It looks like they aren't really going to give that significant of a resistance to us. Let's get my regiment of force to work their way around the long way. More quick climb against the mercenaries in square. I mean, oh, oh great hit against the firearm citizenry.
trot the cavalry up. Maybe get my skirmishers up onto the higher ground. There's my heavy cavalry. Jump to it and look lively. Just stop. The first regiment of foot. Huzzah! You men with fighting fighting to to bring a new a new uh, a new faction into the world. However, that world is dominated by the Italian Empire. Hey, they might actually get to charge me here. My one file our common citizenry unit has had enough. Yeah, you men cease fire. Charge into their flank. There we go. These these Italians are angered and will not put up with such devilry from you. The mess. So the army is collapsed, but there is one last native bow unit sat all the way to the rear. My heavy cavalry <laughs> hit the most, sent men flying. I'm going to also suffer a charge from the re my regiment of horse. Get that regiment of horse to start to chew up that armed citizenry unit because they doubt it is needed here. Might break off attack indeed. Oh, they got slaughtered. Huzzah! First city has fallen on our great conquest. Benedict Hardy has fled the field in ignominy. I might actually move, move these armies back over to Boston. Because what's likely to happen is uh, a mass amphibious invasion of the lands to the south. Then we, we move south ourselves to take Sylvania Ruiz force. I mean... Okay. Nah. Let's knock them out one at a time. They've got no garrisons. We're going to blow a hole in the wall and then just charge. There's going to be no strategy, no quick climb allowed. Really, I shouldn't have done it in the last battle. That was very, 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 very much overkill. Because you've got to bear in mind, I've got plenty of armies in the Americas as is, but we've got probably nearly 20 stacks in India that are all marching to the coast, <laughs> ready to be... Um, embarked and sailed across the world. So, yeah, war is coming to the, the new world at pace. I mean, we're going to charge right off the bat, just with everyone. So they do have artillery, so they can do casualties. They can cause us issues, but fundamentally, I don't think we really care at this stage. All of you men scale the walls from a very long way off. They can't quick climb us everywhere, and my elites charge up to take advantage of this gap in the wall. I mean, no artillery. The, the howitzers that could get a couple of kills from Quicklime are just unlimbered. So let's speed up time as our troops advance to the wall. I mean, we're going to swarm across multiple fronts. Another volley. Boom. 64%. So if we don't get any better... If the volley doesn't improve... Troops, swarm, 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 attack Pan Alpha. Got some US Marines. They're starting to counter charge this particular unit. Guards charge the militia. Everyone else, you have your orders. 
rush through the defences. The head of the, the column of US Marines is engaging our line. There we go. Fighting has begun everywhere elsewhere. These units break off the break off attack. This unit form over the gates. All of these units just run off the wall. They might run, try and run through the breach, but it's not the end of the world if that happens either. So these men that are scaling the wall here are going to attack this unit of militia in the rear. Poor, poor militia. There we go. Hit them. There we go. Start to do some damage to them in the rear. Also, look at all of these elite troops just sat in a big cluster. I hope they don't try and quick climb us. There we go. Capture this gatehouse. We're just going to run through. Yeah, the Marines are going to head off the attack from this line infantry. But I fear will not help them in the great battle to come. There we go. So these troops still have their orders to run through, so as they make their way through, they should begin to just follow that command. Same as these guys. Oh, chug a lug. Oh, now it's a shot's inbound. Swarm in. Swarm, swarm, swarm. Attack pattern alpha. Yeah, there you go. These marines just ran through the line. So the engineers can carry on engaging. But everyone, and this unit of guards. Yeah, why the hell not? Enemy general's been killed in the initial... In the initial... Um, charge poor poor general his republic started with so much promise but alas twas not to be there you go a couple more of these units start to hit the militia in the rear but they are only just the only militia after all be careful that you do not expect too much from them. Swarm the general. He cannot kill that in many Italians. Nobody can, except probably some barbarian tribes and stuff like that. <laughs> so yeah, the US Marines, they're gonna do they're gonna do well. But not enough. There we go. More. So more, more troops to surround the already entirely surrounded general, and we're seeing Chugalug. I wonder if pull the engineers out. Yeah, it definitely pushes it. Well, seemingly pushes it over the edge. It's funny, really. I got how aware you've got to be of just how certain combats screw up your game. The US Marines are all that remain. So you men form an almighty line. And I'm just going to speed up time because there's not... Okay. We've taken the centre. There's not really... Am I that bothered about pursuing this particular unit of US Marines? Probably not. <laughs> oh, they are wavering. Oh, yeah, because they... Well, I think their general's been killed. The city's been taken. Yeah, bad times for the Marines. 
But that is Philadelphia secured. There we go. Let's repair all these. His army repaired. Everything else is in good shape. Good. And on to Mr. Astrelli. Let's drive and attack um, the garrison at Annapolis. I mean, I could auto-resolve them, but fundamentally I think these battles are passing quickly enough anyway. So that I'm... I don't mind auto-resolving small battles if I've got um, a few large ones to fight. But I don't think we're going to fight... We're not, not going to fight that many large battles... Um, in North America, maybe when we attack New Spain, that might change, but for now, I mean, let's <laughs> just enjoy watching a whole bunch of troops just absolutely run over everyone. Group. Group my Dragoons on one flank. Whoa, fire it will off for you, good sir. And my Light Cavalry on the other. General in the centre. All my artillery sat back in a giant line because that's what I'm dealing with. That's the the enemy. I really did enjoy playing enjoy playing as the United States. There's some good unit choices. I think with the additional units mod, it might spice things up a little bit more. Well, like the game. So I know it's not really a different unit. It's just a firelock arm citizenry unit but it does well skin does a fire right let's get away from that guy with the drum firelock arm citizenry unit skin but still it would be quite cool to have like a volunteer infantry regiment to start off and, but then again i've already played the united states so that's not going to happen just let my artillery run rampant and there we go the line has been met Open fire. Burn powder. Poor, poor souls. Let's take these three units and fall in the flank. Got one unit charging down the volunteers, another unit going to charge down the general's bodyguard. These light dragoons are going to be fire at will on. Because they've got... Well, one thing that these campaigns have done for me is I do... I have started to appreciate skirmish cavalry that much more than I definitely used to. Stop my artillery from firing. Totally surplus. All it does is just risk killing my own men. There we go. Hessian line has been annihilated. Firelock armed citizenry in the 3rd Regiment of Foot remains. The general's been killed. Form a, form a cavalry line. No, there they go. They're done for. We don't need to slaughter them. <laughs> there we go. At the very least, we're, we're saving our... Uh, Casualty, or our own troops' lives by doing it this way. It's Annapolis secured and the army replenished. So, one thing we are going to witness, I think, is. So, let's take this fleet down towards Mexico just to see what they've got. Take some of these forts. And use them to just to garrison ports. And Ricardo Tozzi. Let's get you... Okay, right. Let's get you to sail down to Mexico as well. You need replenishing. This force can push south. What have you got? Two thirds. Okay, in which case let's take a fourth, leave them behind the east port. It's a very wasteful way of using the unit, but I don't think it's going to matter. Okay, got a couple of navies, but what we've got here should be fine. Just get ready to, to block up, to, to blockade their ports. 
Okay, Mr. Testore, with your very elite force, you've done a superb job. Your job is to take Williamsburg from the forces of Dennis Churchill, which I think should be fairly simple again. Um, they've just not got that many troops, and we've got... Uh, we are an absolute juggernaut steaming our way through the country, and we might even be able to knock out the entire faction within half an hour. Um, but we've still got a few more battles to fight, so don't worry, we will be in action this entire turn. <laughs> There's no danger of that with us running out of fights. This army has done a fantastic job. Some incredibly elite troops here. Incredibly elite. Keep my cavalry wide on the open ground. Can't hide behind. Keep the African musketeers back. Your job, men, is to run through the town and secure that early dominance. Eh, I'll get the musketeers involved out on the flank. In which case, then, cavalry move up. So they got some hidden units. God, this army's been... So 34th, 6th foot guards, 7th foot guards... 24th, 38th, 33rd, 15th, 16th, 8th Regiment of Horse, 5th Grenadiers. Yeah. You guys have been around for a while, and you've got the experience. Oh my god, this Swiss Guard unit. Experience 6. It's very impressive. Normally, well, I say normally, it's, it's, it's fairly common to have a, pretty, some pretty experienced armies later on, but this is really good. Charge my, mercy, charge my heroic experienced cavalry into the fight to hold up the enemy while my army moves in for the kill. Probably shouldn't let them just let all my artillery kill everyone like that. You men, charge! You men, charge! You men, push around the flank! Yes! War has come to your lands! Go on, Grenadiers, let's get you in against the native warrior auxiliary. You know, hey, I've got an experienced unit, what do I do with it? Charge it into battle to get hacked to pieces, including Fusiliers. She must specifically charge the native warrior auxiliary with my grenadiers. Huzzah! What good are having heroically experienced units if you can't just charge them into people? any way you want. Line my infantry up to engage that unit in crossfire. crossfire. Cavalry's gonna charge into the flank of the mercenaries. Native War Auxiliary is wavering since that... <laughs> since the uh, Grenadier charge. It's probably seemed like a less favourable position now. Ah, I'll charge some men in. Why the hell not? So the 34th are coming in. General's bodyguards back here with the native mercenaries who are losing men at a rate of knots. Grenadiers, fight your way through to the general's bodyguard. There we go. Another, another army taken out. The general's right there, but it doesn't matter because everyone's gone. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Right. <laughs> yeah, so we lost a few more men than would be necessary. But let's replenish. 
the roads are good. You men upgrade. So then the last territory that remains is Charleston under Teobaldo Mancini, a force which hasn't actually seen, hasn't actually uh, faced battle yet. But Javier Jenner now holds the uh, the last American territory, so we will surround and destroy them. We have two more Iroquois territories under siege, and we also have a Cherokee territory under siege. Um, so that will be quite a devastating offensive into North America. You can definitely see why I wanted to not engage the um, the Mughals in that in this part of the world. I'd arrayed so much firepower that we didn't have to worry about um, pushing. As long as we could hold, that was okay. So let's take five infantry units to fight through the town. Three units are going to push around one flank. Two units are going to push around the left, backed up by the bulk of the cavalry. Hello. So I've got rocket, rocket units, which will be engaging. Let's just form up these units to slam into the flank of the enemy position. So the rocket's firing. Firing! They're cool, really. But they're not super effective. So they're aiming at this Firelock Armed Citizenry unit. Yeah, that's not terrible. All of my guns are focusing on this unit. <laughs> and they're also about to be under musket fire. First volleys crash home. <laughs> That's enough of that. Human advance. These units are walking, which isn't right. All of you sans cuirassier, just... Just to get some artillery to snipe at the general's bodyguard. I'm sure they've got some hidden units here somewhere. I mean, these guerrilla mercenaries are about to become hidden quite dramatically. Rockets overhead, hitting the units entrenched behind the wall. There go the guerrilla mercenaries. E-men push the left flank of the units behind the wall. Some units going to go straight in. Push more units around the flank. It's got a cuirassier involved to go knock out the general's bodyguard, these units that are walking can push up a bit more aggressively. So the second regiment, they're safe behind cover for now. Get all my artillery to focus on them in particular there. In particular that gets my cuirassier. There we go, there's some of their hidden units. But I don't think one Phylocarm citizenry is going to be the clincher. The second regiment's about to take a lot of damage from musket fire. Now they've abandoned their position to engage the enemy, but my artillery is just getting started. Ooh. Second regiment did not like that. Go off the general. Rocket artillery prepared for bombardment. They're winning decisively though. There we go, rocket artillery inbound. 
watch out. Second regiment. Boom, 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 boom. Bouncing cannonballs. They're shattered. Only the general stands between us and total victory. Artillery cease fire. Cuirassier charging in. General's been killed. It's just his staff left to flee. Here we go, native bowman auxiliary. Speed up time. Well, just give you the order to charge, really. And then I will wait until... So they're confident. Then suddenly... Uh oh Hussars are up front. And all my cuirassier coming in behind. They are shaken by this massive volume of cavalry charging. Oh, there they go. And they're broken. So have you got anyone else? You do have other people. I knew you had more troops. Try and deploy stakes, will you? That's what happens when you wait too long. That's what happens when you do what I do. <laughs> there we go. So one in-game turn. From birth to death, we have witnessed the American Empire. And, yep, yeah, 31 minutes. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> there we go. So this spy... I'm going to work his way on down to Mexico. A bunch of these armies are marching towards New Orleans and Fort Chata. Up towards Santa Fe. Obviously, when we hit Mexico, well, let's have a look first. Protectorate of the Pueblo Nations and they're allied with New Spain. So we may as well take a bit of time down here just to kind of get all our ducks in a row. Although, so you're covered. What about this port? If that port's not covered, we could dump a load of troops into Guatemala and swing north and south. Perfect. Okay. So none of these guys can move. See, so your Florida's um, repairing. Let's go and take... Yeah, I might auto this one. <laughs> Because <laughs> for a bunch of little battles, the, the main fight against the Cherokee will be up here. Um, let's take Mr. Al Algarotti and attack this Iroquois fort, Iroquois position here at Cayuga. Lots of garrison troops and bowmen and a couple of um, tribes, tribesmen, tribesmen units. Um, but we have a ludicrous amount of firepower to bring to bear. This will be yet another uh, fortific another um, settlement taken to our empire. Not that it's actually really needed, let's be honest. We don't need all this money. But it's better for us to have it than for them to have it. Might even get my general involved in the skirmish phase. That's right. We are so confident of our strength. We're just going to charge straight in. Artillery bombardment is, is fired. Where are the shells landing? Yeah, this tribesman unit has taken the brunt of the fire. I mean, those are just armed tribesmen. They're not that bad. Let's use our enormous cavalry advantage to begin to scout where some of the other units are hiding. My foot artillery aim for the chief's bodyguard, the howitzers. Aha! They have been outed. Let's get the general back safe. Let's push 
our infantry line up to this key position on the high ground. Everyone else actually start to form a better line. My cavalry might be about to they've swamped that unit of native warriors. Still got some cuirassier ready to protect the left flank. They're shattered, so get our cavalry out of the way. Yeah, feel free to engage, mon ami. Spin my cavalry around. The chief's bodyguard, they've only lost a handful of men, but that was the it was the right one to the lose to lose from from our perspective. So let's take all of you guys and push you up like so. The cavalry chase down and shatter every possible unit. Bring my cuirassier into the mix. So don't think the, this force has the, the morale required to stick around for the long term, especially once my native warriors charge in. They might actually get shot first. So let's cease fire with at least these two units and this unit. Push in. You meant to fire it well off. Let's take that light cover and trace down the armed tribesmen because they are all shattered. There we go. This unit has also been broken. Hello. So swarm that unit with my cavalry just to make sure they hopefully shatter. Hello. Look at you sneaky chaps so these men all fire at will on they're shattered that's just you know the garrison bowmen so everyone here is pouring fire into that Native bow unit, which was, I'm sorry, Regiment of Infantry, I did not notice how much damage they were doing to you. Nevertheless, we shall do them a lot more damage with our cavalry here. Ceasefire. So they might not be able to get us... Might not be able to get cavalry into here, but we can get a bucket load of troops with guns. Yeah, that's them. That unit annihilated. Now this last unit of native bows that is that is attempting to withdraw. Nope, it will not be enough. <laughs> kachunk, kachunk. Heroic victory indeed. So Cayuga is ours. So let's upgrade. Yeah, let's get a church school. Craft. Actually, no, not a craft workshop. If you want to keep this army moving, you want to get a coaching in built. Well, Mr. Spinelli's got Niagara under siege. Fort Ponchaterrain is not under siege yet, but soon will be by Mr. Adorno, Adomo, Ad uh, Adorno. Um, let's take Mr. Spinelli and quickly wipe out this force so we don't damage this force behind them. Because uh, then that'll be all the all the territories we have um, <laughs> under siege uh, taken out in probably less than 45 minutes, which is, that's pretty impressive, but bear in mind we did quit. I did, um, Auto resolve a Cherokee one. I am going to auto resolve the um, 
god, as if all this artillery is necessary. I am going to water resolve the um, pirate ones. Just clump all my cavalry together. No strategy needed when you have such massive finances and excessive amounts of firepower. All my artillery needs to unlimber. Because they are all going to focus on the chief's bodyguard. Then all of our cavalry push up to those trees. They're bowmen, so they probably won't engage us. My artillery, my gun line though. Almighty fog bank appearing in the distance. They're all firing short. Hello. Volley fire present. <laughs> yeah, there goes the native warriors there. You men all charge the bowmen so these two infantry units can fold in. That horse, that heavy cavalry is probably not going to be needed. You men form square on the flank. All my artillery go after the general's bodyguard. <laughs> At least regiment of foot might do, some, well, should do some more right damage. Close range volley, artillery slamming into them. Well, artillery shot slamming into them. Yep. If they have no hidden units, then that's it. Ah. There, garrison bow unit came back temporarily. God, that was quicker than I thought. <laughs> oh, how beautiful. 77 men. That's all it took to take Niagara. Again, because it's a native native um, territory, I'm going to recruit, build a church school and a happiness building. But that's all of these territories taken. Let's get you... Okay, you probably don't need these here anymore. But let's take Añejo Fierro, who's been fighting for some time. He is going to sail... So we're not going to be at war, we're going to sail down to this port, and I might actually put... Keep this big fleet nearby. To prevent any freak attacks. Thank you, Judah Craft Workshop. Nothing else to do, we need to keep moving these men towards the... Plains nations who cho who absolutely chewed up another one of our last armies, <laughs> who completely chewed up one of our other forces. Um, apart from that, hey, we got a university. Oh, this is the one in India. Yeah, this is why I say don't worry, because look at all of these <laughs> armies. Let's hit in turn. Yeah, you have to gear up. They they oh they only want a cool 1.6 million, and they'll become my protectorate. No. <laughs> Don't worry. Just become, just become a protector and give us your entire treasury, and then, then we'll be we'll be besties, right? Then we'll be we can be on the same team. Everyone agrees, right? No, I've got an army about to take your capital. Workers on strike in Hindustan. Now they're okay because they have no school. Construction report. I don't think we have to worry about filling these up anymore. Okay, so our sloops. Amen. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going to transport all these armies over, but because that, that that would be unnecessary. We're already on course to be. Um, we're already on course to be pushing more armies into the region than they have uh, cities left. Ok, 
Okay, let's take... I don't know why I'm doing it that way. We don't really need to keep worrying about keeping movement points. Nico Marchesi. 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 Get you over there. Nino Boscovich, get you over here. Alonso Russo, I want you to get over. Fabiano Castelli, I definitely want over there. To be honest, the last guy I sent should probably not have gone. Dorante Balbus, I'm sure you did something heroic, but I'm not going. I don't remember your name. Giorgio Materazzi, you've been here for an awfully long time, so you have also earned the right. You've also earned the right to sail to America. Flavio Castiglione. Eh. Nicola Andrizzi, yes, I remember you. Fabrizio Valerio. Valiero, nope. Claudio Bianchi, no. Most of the army is recruited in India. Oh, I remember you, Daniel Pace. Baldassare Baiano, yes. You need to get over here. I remember you, Baldassare. It's pretty arbitrary. All I'm doing is looking at the name and going, oh, Luciano, Luciano, Luciano Volt, I do remember. Fidele Venturi, you've been around for a while. Bartolomeo needs to get over. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do a lot of this this turn. Um, just because it's really not necessary. Especially as most of them still have orders. Nicolo Luzato, it'd be nice to get you over here. Ooh, watch out, we've got a new port in Corsica. Um sorry, Fabiano. You men can stand down. All these fifth rates they're meant to go out to trade zones didn't really turn out to be needed, did they? Oh well. Let's hop over to the Americas anyway, because we've got a few things we need to do first. First of all, Baldazare Matarazzi is going to take Upper Louisiana. Huh. So I've got sound problem, weird sound problem on the campaign map. That doesn't often happen. Prepare the Subadar's palace. Lots of these. Okay, so what I want to do is take you, Mr. Adorno. That's really weird. It was from doing something. Huh. Mr. Australi, you don't need to be in Annapolis, so you can march towards. Actually, no, towards the native peoples here. Same with you. Shelly Lozato, you can probably push Yankton from a different side of the river. But I'm going to take Mr. Adorno and attack Michigan Territory to see if I can get my audio back. Because that's a bit of an odd one. There's no sound. Like it. Okay, hold on, everyone. I need to just, just check a few bits and bobs. Um, I don't know what's killed my sounds. So what I'm probably going to do is just really quickly end this battle and go sort it out. Just send everyone in. I'm probably gonna, to be honest, I'm probably going to play this quick as well because I do want to go fix it, but I can't fix it while still be still being in the battle because we're getting. I can't leave the battle or else I'll lose. So yeah, it's not a great outcome, but send everyone in. Yeah, they got some medicine men, but to be honest, I'm not really that bothered about medicine men. Push you guys around to the rear. I'm 
That's a U-man charge into the bowmen. All my artillery. I can't blast the chief's bodyguard, but... Blash, smash into the bowmen. So a bit of a unfortunate end for the Iroquois Empire, but to be honest, I want to go sort out this sound problem. <laughs> um, not that it was a battle that really required that much tactical prowess anyway. I don't have any cavalry to chase down their chief's bodyguard either, but I don't think that's going to matter a whole lot. Ceasefire artillery. Come on, come on, chief's bodyguard. But yeah, I I think I'm just gonna have to close the game down and open it back up again. It's just a pity that I was that I had. I thought maybe opening entering battle would actually help, but it appears not to have done. Like my mix is working because I alt tabbed and put a put a video up and it worked. So it's definitely something to do with Empire how it's running sound, not my PC. That's really unfortunate. Um, but yeah, I will be back in a second, everyone. Sorry, Eric Territory, for having such an ignominious end, but just a second. I'm going to save it as... So yeah, this is how I save it. I've got Italy, Spain. The top three are always my newest ones, and then they're usually repeated again below it, which is the last part. So I'll save it as this one. It's so that if one corrupts, I'm only ever one recorded episode behind, which can still be a lot, but actually let's save it as TBC. Just so it's different. Okay. Okay, just a second, just a second everyone. I'll see you I'll see you when I've rebooted. And I'm back. And yeah, rebooting it seems to have worked. But that was that was odd. Um okay, let's take Vito Spero. He's going to march straight past New Orleans. He's going to be the one to lead the attack against the um, Pueblo Nations. Yeah, they're going to auto this attack on the pirates, although they did a lot of damage to us. Let's repair all these buildings. Because, yeah, this is, this is when we took Louisiana. And then the, um, the Burgos came in and raided everything. Mr. Casanova continued to march up towards... Oh, it's because he sat on the bridge. That's annoying. God damn it, Vito. Oh well. Keep pushing up towards them. You push up to support Vito. Um, because what we're going to do is I'm going to go Diplomacy. Mexico. Open. Declare war. New Spain has cancelled our trade agreement, and New Spain is now our enemy. We are enemies with the rest of the world. So you sail in to blockade their port. I mean, to be honest, this is these navies are pretty junk, but I'm happy to let them do whatever, um, just because I don't really care. But like the army, the navies are so weak. We've got so many ships. I can just go blip. They might destroy some of ours. No, apparently not. Ooh, that was funky. Ooh, that does open up a, a port for us, though. There we go. Mop up the new the Mexican fleet, because I don't think we're going to really need to bring in ships. So let's sail into Tampico. This force here is able to sail into Puerto Barrios. Let's take our larger navy. Will you blockade Cartagena? Pretty sure that's... Yeah, Caracas hasn't developed a port yet. Bogota's only got the one, and we blockaded it, and they won't be able to break out. So this force that's here can push on. Ooh, a proper-ish battle against the new Spaniards in Guatemala. That's quite fun. Just want to make sure there's nothing... Ooh, one thing there is to do. I do remember this chap. So you are going to land against Caracas. Not to do battle, because they have no port infrastructure to enable a speedy um, disembark disembarkation. 
that's even a word. But we depart, we've landed outside the shores. Vito Monino and his colonial line. Pretty sure they don't have any other real ports. Let's have a look at Panama just to see what they've got. Yeah, they've got some chaff, if nothing else. Curious to see what the Mexicans have got, but we won't get to them yet. Uh, even... I mean, to be honest, there's not really much point us doing anything else with these guys except depositing them back into port. You're going to continue your march in towards Mexico, but let's take Añejo Fierro, who's also been around here for a while, and attack Antigua. No fortifications, ragtag army, Bernardo de la Cueva. You're going down. So this should hopefully provoke a bit of a reaction from New Spain and Mexico. And to be honest, we're really close to the end of this campaign. I, 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 knew, I know it seemed like a daunting task to uh, push back all those Mughal troops, but I knew that once we knocked them out um, on their home turf and the, the Americas reverted to more of a colonial era, that we would be able to make quick work of them. So let's drop our howitzers in. Let's get a core of line, including some marines on the flank. Then let's create a bit more of an elite. Well, let's, we've got a central brigade, and a brigade on the right flank, and a brigade on the left flank. And we are going to want to put... Put pikes on the right. Divvy up our cavalry. We're going to be able to even. We're going to be. We are going to be able to gobble them up quite conclus conclusively, despite their large numbers, because their troops are rubbish. Men of the center, advance. Men of the right, advance. Pikes, advance. Men of the left. Advance at speed. Too bad these are both heavy cavalry units because... It'd be nice to try and snipe some of these weaker troops here. Field artillery engage the tribal auxiliary. Their one gun in a defensive position I am not concerned about. What I want to do is bring in my left flank hard and push into the town by using my right flank as more of an anchor. I mean, lots of the colonial line units are quite heavily depleted. I'm quite deliberately not using quicklime. <laughs> Push up the heavy cavalry. So Curiosier hit the colonial light. Might lose a few to that small set of spikes because it doesn't ever really matter how long it is. All that matters is if the troops like this guy bump into it and then he's fallen. Gunners pick a militia unit, pick a militia unit and fight. Native Bowman Auxiliary marching up. Should really have just charged my pikemen into there as well. Okay, we need to push up quite aggressively because some of the units are already turning to try and focus on our cavalry. So if we can push these guys back with a bit of volley fire, that would be excellent. Come on, should have sound. Ah. There we go. So this, the 33rd foot guards should absolutely tear open the 7th. Yeah. 
Good stuff. Ooh, this colonial light infantry is going to march just within range of some of my infantry, so they will not like that. Let's take my marines, advance them up to the building. Take these two units and pivot them right. First, we'll get my pikes in there, and everyone else can swarm in behind. Get my pikes to hit the enemy militia that's currently forming up. So to be honest, everyone else looks incredibly in poor shape. My heavy cavalry charge against the militia is going to go quite well. The third foot guards get involved, the line infantry guards get involved. These men advance to maintain the front line. Pikemen are torn their way through the second regiment, then push on to the eighth. The heavy cavalry charge the tribal auxiliary. Get my hussars in the mix in the centre. Who says pikemen are useless? If I had some pikemen on this flank. It'd be going even better. Oh, actually, gotta be a bit careful here. Because they do have defences. Push up. Yeah, my hussars have charged militia, but they are hussars at the end of the day. They are not heavy cavalry. Can hopefully try and take out their general. Let's try and get a heavy cavalry unit up here to attack their mortar crews. I'm going to keep a unit of heavy cavalry as a hedge in case the enemy tries to bring some of their routing units back into the field. Get this unit of line infantry guards to charge the militia in the rear. Get this unit of marines to push against the colonial militia. Get these units to push. There we go, you can already see they're starting to return. So run some infantry up there instead. To be honest, this entire infantry line can just push up towards the the edge of the map because the remaining troops that are in the field as it is aren't going to be around for very long. It all comes down to the collapse of the general. Yeah, my hussars took a bit of a hammering. But the marines charging in really, really helped out. Everyone else has fallen. All that remains is for the general to pass on and allow us our toehold toe in Central America. In the Hussars go. Yep, a nice charge into the flank of the General's bodyguard. Knock them down a few pegs. Everyone else is retreating. Artillery cease fire. General's routed. should be the end of their army. There we go. So the city is ours. Let's repair and fortify this mother because we don't know how many stacks of potential new Spanish troops are on their way. Or Mexican troops, to be honest. There we go. Upgrade the infrastructure across the board. Good stuff. Um, everyone's reinforcing. Everyone's replenishing still mostly that's attacked here. Ooh, okay, right. 
So you, good sir, get aboard ship and sail to Panama, where you will disembark. To be honest, two armies might go to Panama, considering their uh, considering their numbers. So you men disembark, and we'll give them a bit of extra firepower. There we go, that's quite good. This last army here, Ciro Manfredi, you might actually sail to this this port here and uh, march on the capital of Mexico. I don't know what sort of garrison they'll have. Fear not, my friends. We can make it to their capital. Ah, oh, fairly regular force. But I think this is probably where we're going to leave it off. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'm going to see you next time for... I mean, potentially... The campaign could end in the next episode or two, depending on how long it takes to do things. But yes, first of all, we must take Mexico. So, thanks for watching, guys. I apologise for that hitch in the middle. A um, bit of a bugger, but there we are. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time.